Welcome back everyone. In this example, we are asked to find the slope of the tangent line to the curve parameterized by x equals cosine of t and y equals sine of t for the t values on the interval between zero and two pi. We should recognize this parameterization as just the parameterization of our unit circle. And so we are asked to find the slope of the tangent line for our unit circle. And we know that the slope of the tangent line is given by the derivative dy dx. And so now what we have to figure out how to do is to how to use our parameterization, which involves our parameter t, to construct the derivative of our function dy dx, maybe without the parameter t, or eventually we might express this derivative in terms of our parameter t. And so now in order to find the slope of our tangent line, which is dy dx, we need to figure out how to go from our parameterization, x equals cosine of t, y equals sine of t, take that and end up with dy dx. And the way we're gonna do this actually isn't too hard. We're just gonna use the chain rule. And the Leibniz notation for the chain rule makes it really easy to see how this process is gonna work. And so if we differentiate our parameterization for y, y equals sine of t, we wanna differentiate that with respect to t since y is written as a function of our parameter t, but that derivative is gonna give us not dy dx, it'll give us dy dt, the change in y with respect to the parameter t. And so what we need to end up with is dy dx, and what we have so far is uh, dy over dt. We got the dy where we want it, but we need to eliminate that dt. And we're gonna do this using the chain rule, and really, it's kind of hand wavy, but just using some rules of fractions, right? We want to eliminate the dt, so if we multiplied in the numerator by dt, that would cross cancel that factor of dt, and then we wanna end up with dx in the denominator. And so this is just an application of the chain rule. If we look at the pieces we have, dy over dt is gonna be like the derivative of our parameterization for y with respect to t, and dt over dx is really just the reciprocal of the derivative for x with respect to t. And we can rewrite that to make it easier to see that reciprocal relationship. So we have dy dt divided by dx dt. And that's really all there is to finding the slopes of the tangent lines using our parametric equations. We take the derivative of y with respect to t using our given parametric equations, and then we divide that by the derivative of x with respect to t, and then taking that quotient, we'll construct the derivative as we know it, dy over dx. So now we just need to find these two pieces and put them together to find the slope of our tangent line. So we were told that x is equal to cosine of t, and so if we differentiate that equation for x with respect to t, we're gonna get negative sine of t as our derivative, and we have to do the same thing for y. It doesn't matter which order we do it in. And so our parametric equation for y was y is equal to sine of t, and now if we differentiate that equation with respect to our parameter t, we just get the derivative of sine of t, which is cosine of t. And so now we have the pieces we need to use our little chain rule formula to find the slope of our tangent line dy over dx using our parameterization. And so now to finish constructing our derivative dy dx, we're gonna take our derivative for y with respect to t, dy dt was cosine of t, and then we are going to divide that by our answer for dx dt, which was negative sine of t. And then to finish this off, we can simplify it using one of those quotient trig identities. Cosine over sine is the same as cotangent. So what we end up with is negative cotangent of t. And now we can use the slope of our tangent line formula if we wanted to, to find the, the slope of any tangent line along our parameterized circle. We just would have to find the corresponding t value to the point of interest. Then plug that t value into our slope formula here. That would give us the slope of our line. We have to plug that t value into our x and y equations to find the point that our line goes through. But once we have that information, we can construct the equation of our tangent line just like how we always did. The big idea I want everyone to take away from this example is the process for finding the slope of our tangent line using these parametric equations. If we're interested in that derivative or that slope, dy dx, 
we just use the chain rule. We take dy dt and divide it by dx dt. 